Extreme drought in North Georgia and in other parts of the state not only put a lot of stress on traditional row crop farms, but it also put a lot of stress on Georgia's forest lands. The Monitor's Mark Wildman traveled to Floyd County, where Ips beetles are causing forest land owners to lose many acres of pine trees. In Cave Springs, Georgia, not long ago this stand of pine trees was extremely healthy. But after a severe drought put the forest under stress, most of these trees are dying off. The problem is not just a lack of water, though. One of the native beetle species we have here is called the Ips beetles, and they are attracted to stressed trees. And so we have started in November and December, we started seeing a lot of trees dying. The beetles themselves are very small, but the damage they do can easily be seen. The Ips beetles start from the top down, so you'll start seeing some top branches die back. And um, with that, you might also see what we call pitch tubes. What happens is that a healthy pine tree, in order to fend off the attack of Ips beetles, actually tries to push the beetles back out when they try to burrow through the bark. So it uses its sap to push the beetles back out. Um, with Ips beetles, they'll be small. They look kind of like bubble gum, sticky sap on the trees, on the flat parts of the bark plates. And um, this year the trees were so stressed that they didn't have enough sap to try to push these beetles back. Walking the forest is very beneficial, but officials can get a much better look and spot new damage easier from the air. We found a lot of, lot of large spots, especially in Floyd, on the western part of Floyd County. And we had to look at those after we found, flew it and, and looked at them and, and located them. We had to do a lot of ground and check ground inspections to make sure that's what we were dealing with. Looking at the bark on a tree, sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where the beetles are. But as the bark is peeled back, you can see the damage. This is an adult Ips beetle. This is the largest of the three species we have here in Georgia. Um, you can see this is the gallery where the female has come down and she's laid her eggs off to the side in these side chambers um, where the larvae, which is right here, will then um, mature and emerge from the tree and go to attack another tree. The best protection is a good forest management plan. But even if you do everything right, the beetles can still invade your land. This landowner thins his timber uh, when he's supposed to. Uh, he does a lot of prescribed burning, which is uh, very beneficial in, in keeping his pine stands healthy. He's, he's, he's a good manager, and uh, he still, though, all the things that he did, had done and managing his stands, he was still not able to prevent the Ips beetles from attacking his pine stands. This is a small stand, less than 15 acres, and they probably have about 80% mortality in this stand. We tell landowners by the time they get to about 40% mortality within their stand, that it's time to start to think about clear cutting and starting over. The Georgia Forestry Commission works hard to keep the state's forest lands healthy and are an excellent resource for landowners who want to protect their timber, which benefits us all. Reporting from Floyd County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.